Hey everybody, Beer Ed here. Today I'm going to show you how to make uh, these brackets here for a wood holder for you. Now I got this one mounted on a trailer. I don't drive this on the street or nothing. I pull this up front, sell this uh, third of a cord for 50 bucks at a time. This is uh, 8 feet by 4 feet high. Here's the brackets here. Now they're not going to cost you very much. Only, uh, you know, this is less than 20 bucks. The place where I get steel sells used steel for 55 cents a pound. So, you know, this, you know, you can get 40, 40 pounds of steel for, you know, 20 bucks or so. You do the math. So, uh, pretty easy to make. I'll take you up to the garage and show you how to do it. Here's a little closer look at these before we head into the garage. Okay, up here in the garage, uh, here's the material that I'm using to build uh, what I just showed you, the little log rack holders. I've got um, 2 inch by 4 inch rectangle tube. This is 3 16 wall, but it's better to use um, quarter inch wall. The 2 by 4 will fit tighter in there. But, you know, this will work also. There's just a little bit of play in it. But then, like, I have this 2x4 pressure-treated wood, and it fits in here good. So, you know, 2x4 should be inch and a half by 3 and a half, but sometimes it varies, so you just have to use your judgment. Then you're going to need, uh, you know, something to grind, wire wheel this stuff since some of it's rusty. I got my Hobart 140 welder back there to weld it together. I'll be cutting with this bandsaw back here in the corner. You could use a, uh, you know, a grinder with a cutoff wheel. I'm going to be using this C channel here for the base of the feet. And then this round tube will be in the center here just like that. So uh, I'll start cutting and then I'll let you know what the dimensions are. Okay, so I'm going to start cutting the uh, 2x4 rectangle tube. I'm cutting it with uh, my Wells branded uh, bandsaw. It's pretty old, not really sure how old it is, 50s, 60s maybe. So as you can see I've got two pieces in there at one time because I'm cutting 5.5 inches for the verticals and five inches for the horizontal that way it's just a little bit higher off the ground be inch and a half off the ground so uh... i'll fire this up and we'll get cutting
Okay, so that took like uh, two and a half, three minutes to cut two pieces. So I'll finish cutting all these and get back with you. Okay, so that took a little bit of time. But uh, I got everything cut up. So I've got four five inch pieces, four five and a half inch pieces. That's the two by four rectangle. And then I have two 12 and a half inch pieces. That's going to be the base. And then I have two 8 inch, you know, you can make these out of whatever, rectangle tube, angle iron, it don't matter. This is just round rod, tube I should say. And uh, those are 8 inches, that's going to be, you know, in between the two pieces. So let me mock one up and I'll show you. Okay, so here it is kind of mocked up, it's just sitting here, so if it falls apart, it does. Uh, okay, so here's the 5 inch pieces. Is your horizontal, you know, the 2x4 will come out of here. You got your vertical, 5 inch piece, five and a half inch piece right here. You got the 12 and a half inch base. That way you get a little overhang on each side. I need to center it up. That way you can, that way there's a, you know, kind of a lip to weld on. And then I have the 8 inch piece here in the center just to kind of keep everything together. Because um, like on that trailer one, the trailer mounted one, I throw a ratchet strap over it and I put the hook under here that way the wood doesn't fall off so uh, let me get one welded up and we'll show you what happens but before you weld anything you gotta clean all this stuff up I think you get the idea. Okay, so I got it all welded up there. I'm no professional welder, but uh, it's not going to fall apart. So that's uh, pretty much how you make it. Uh, I'll get the other one finished up and I'll show you how they compare to the ones I previously made. Okay, so we're back here at the woods again. Um, this is the one that's on the trailer. Uh, here's the finished product, so they just need uh, spray painted, but it's a little too windy out here today to do that. So about the only differences between these and uh, the ones that are on here this is a plate here that would be good for you know mounting it on something like a trailer or like soft ground this one's going to be up at the house it's going to be on a hard surface so you don't really have to worry about this sinking in even if this was on grass it would just kind of you know 
push down in the ground keep it keep it from moving so now the only thing you have to do is determine you know how long you want the two by fours to be in between there and how high so like I said for example this is four feet high eight feet long that's one third of a cord or I think some people call it a face cord I don't know there's all sorts of different terms so uh, that's the finished product have fun making them thanks for watching bye